What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Magmortar Sun team for ranked Regulation F. Now, Magmortar, such a sick Pokemon introduced in Generation 4, Diamond and Pearl, when they gave a bunch of new Pokemon evolution. So they eventually gave Magmar an evolution, making him Magmortar, which is such a cool Pokemon. He has like fire arm cannons, making him look so dope, and a great special attacker on top of that. But we're rocking out today with Whimsicott to set the sun, and then other Pokemon that really thrive in the sun, like Fluttermane with Protosynthesis, Walking Wake with Protosynthesis, and we also have Chlorophyll Victory Bell. Magmortar is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about for today's team with the Flame Body as its ability. It's also holding Citrus Berry as its item to give it more HP when it falls below half. It has Heat Wave for big time damage in the sun. It also has Acid Spray to lower the opposing Pokemon's special defense. Then we got Sunny Day to set up the sun and follow me for a little bit of support on Magmortar. Considering it has Flame Body, maybe some plays we can actually follow me some shots, making physical attackers hit us, and eventually putting the burn on ourselves. Second Pokemon is going to be Victory Bell. Victory Bell, one of my favorites from Gen 1, really dope Pokemon that really thrives in the sun with the Chlorophyll ability. We got Wildlands as item, to make Sleep Powder hit more often, and then we got Sludge Bomb, Encore, and Strength Zap for its other moves. We got Whimscott in today's video as well. Whimscott super good on the support side as you can set up the Tailwind and the Sunny Day, while also rocking out with Walking Wake with the Life Orb to do some big time damage. It's got the signature move Hydro Steam, which actually doubles its damage inside the sun. We got Iron Hands for a great solid Pokemon within the Trick Room, outside the Trick Room, just on any team. Iron Hands rocks that well. And the last Pokemon is Fluttering that you guys have seen plenty of times in Regulation F. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Chi Yu squad. Chi Yu's rocking out with Fluttermane. It's rocking out with Walking Wake, and it also pairs up really well with Thunderclap Raging Bolt. So, this one is actually going to be a tough one for us in match number one. They also have Whimscott and Urshu, two very, very strong meta Pokemon. Hopefully, we get to counter it with this Mag Mortar. A little bit of off meta slash meta team. But um, I could go Whimscott. I think Whimscott is going to be a solid lead for us, especially for Tailwind and for Sunny Day. But a Pokemon that is a massive threat to us is going to be Raging Bolt. Raging Bolts are super strong, Chiu's on that same board as well, so we kind of have to figure out ways to kind of get after that. So I'm going to go Whimscott here, I'm also going to go Walking Wake. Walking Wake's a nice little Pokemon that I actually really like to lead up. We have a nice little Terra of Fire to kind of dodge any fairy moves incoming, so I like both of these Pokemon. So I'm going to go Walking Wake, Whimscott, I definitely want to try to showcase Magmortar in the back end. And then last but not least, probably Fluttermane is my best bet. Yeah, I like Fluttermane here, but the only problem is like that Walking Wake, or not Walking Wake, that Raging Bolt is just insanely strong with Thunderclap. Hits so hard. You pair it up, up next to Chiyu, it's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ridiculous. So, it's a it's kind of an odd situation we're in, where it's just like Raging Bolt's so OP and so hard to counter on so many teams. I don't really know what we're going to do up against that, but if I can get rid of Rage Bolt, or say they just don't bring Raging Bolt, we can really thrive out here because my fire moves aren't going to do much to it. My flutter main is really my only counter to it. But if they terrasalize into a good typing, maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually force it to actually terrasalize into a different typing and kind of get after it that way. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Mr. Kurtastic. Thank you so much for making this team. Been using a lot of your teams on my channel. So just want to give a huge shout out to you. Link to his pages will be down in the description below alongside with the Pokey Pace. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, it will be down there. But they end up leading these two Pokemon. And this is where it gets rather annoying, right? Because I definitely want a Tailwind set up. I definitely want a Tailwind set up. And now do I Terrastalize and maybe Hydro Steam into the Chiyu? Or do I just go for a Draco Meteor Drop into, into Raging Bolt, right? I, de I definitely want Terrastalize, so I'm going to click that button. But what would I rather do here? Hydro Steam's not bad. Hydro Steam should be able to pick up some nice damage here. But on top of that, I could just Draco Meteor. I think I'd rather Hydro Steam first, right? I think I'd rather Hydro Steam first, just because I don't want to lower my special attack and then kind of just go from there. But we'll see what they want to do, because Thunderclap is just going to be able to chunk up some damage. It just chunks up damage, and it's kind of annoying. So we'll see what they want to do. I know Terrasalize in my Walking Wake. They're just going to protect the Raging Bolt, and this is really solid for us. Unless they double protect, right? Which they don't. That's really solid. That's really solid. Because I just seem to come out here, get off some nice damage on the Chi. Probably trigger Focus Ash, right? Probably trigger Focus Ash. No Focus Ash. We just just get rid of Chi. 
right off the rip, get it on out of my face. We get rid of Chi. That's massive. That's massive. So we get rid of that. We lose a little bit of life orb damage. But on top of that, we get off Tailwind. Okay. I like it. I like this turn. Definitely like this turn. They end up bringing out Wimscott. So they're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. So now wouldn't it be a bad time for me to actually... It wouldn't be a bad time for me to actually set up Sunny Day for the rest of the squad. Because I do get a Protosynthesis speed boost. What I'm thinking is he's going to Thrasilize anyway. And he could have a Fairy Terror. So you know what? I'm going to set up the Sunny Day here. Actually, I could just taunt you, Wimscott. That's probably more so my play. Right? Yeah, why don't we just taunt the Wimscott and then just go in the Draco Meter. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And now they Thrasilize... The raging bolt so this gonna get annoying it's gonna get very annoying go but he's going in straight straight into a lecture so that's not the worst thing in the world, right draco meter can still do some big time damage on this thing chunk it up a little bit i thought it was gonna go into fairy typing but i'm gonna end up taunting this thing keeping speed on our side we are keeping speed on our side he's gonna try to encore me so that's actually perfect draco meter's gonna fly and we chuck up some nice damage on the, that thing our special attack does get dropped, but hey, I need to get off as much damage as I can onto that walking break. Thunderbolt's gonna come across here, and how much damage is this doing? It's pretty much KO'ing me. It's pretty much KO'ing me. So from here, I could pop a sunny day. I could just start Moonblasting this thing down, and I think Moonblast's gonna be my best bet. So I'm just gonna go Moonblast, and I think I'm just gonna actually protect walking break here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with protecting Walking Wick here. So I could see a Thunderclap. And they end up hard swapping Wimscott just to get rid of that taunt on it. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. And they go into Urshfu. So Urshfu comes out here. We protect the Walking Wick. Chances are Thunderclap is flying into the slot, right? Yeah. And we'll pick up the block. Or it will just fail straight up. That's huge. Moonblast is going to fly here. Do some nice damage. And I could just do the same thing if I want to. Because Wimscott outspeeds. He could protect the Raging Bolt, too. How many turns are left in Tailwind? One out of four. We have two very strong Pokemon in the back end with Fluttermane and Magmortar. Um, I could just go Moonblast here. And I could also just throw a Protect here. Again. Which I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. Or I could just attack. I'm just going to go into a Hydro Steam in this, this slot. Yeah, I, I did it just in case this thing went to protect. So he ends up protecting here. You going for Sucker Punch, maybe? Okay, you go for Sucker Punch. That's not that big of a deal. Okay, so they have the Dark Urshifu here. I can bring out Fluttermane pretty freely here. Actually, no, I got to watch out for the first turn priority moves. First turn priority moves are scary. These Pokemon have got to go. <laughs> These Pokemon have got to go. And we'll see how this one plays out here. Because Tailwind's gone, but Wimscott should still outspeed everybody. Which is pretty solid for us. Yeah, Wimscott should still outspeed everybody. So I could actually go into Follow Me here. Which might be my best bet. Just follow me and have Wimscott just start getting some work done. That could be good. That could definitely be good. Keep Wimscott alive. And then just Moonblast this slot. Finish off Raging Bolt. I could heat wave, but I think follow me is gonna be a play because if you sucker punch me or Shifu, you could get the burn on you with flame body. And if you're going for thunderclap here, raging bolt, we can just follow me and kind of neutralize that. So I'm gonna go for the follow me with mech mortar. See how this one plays out. And he is gonna go for sucker punch. So I'm actually gonna stop both these moves, right? I mean, we stop sucker punch, but rage bolt doesn't even get the chance to attack because we're just kind of outspeed. So that's massive. Are you choice in the Sucker Punch? There is a high possibility that you could be choice in the Sucker Punch. So now Wimscott is the final Pokemon. They already used Terra. I'm going to follow me again, and I am just going to rip another Moonblast into this Urshifu. Because it's going to be four times super effective, so might as well do this. If you want to set up a Tailwind, you can set up a Tailwind. I can set up a Tailwind right after if I want to. But I'm going for the follow me. We're doing it. Follow me, Flame Body, looking perfect here, and they're going to set up a lovely little Tailwind. So, he's probably not Choice, but still, I like the Spike regardless. No, you might be Choice. You might be Choice. You might be Choice. It's looking like your Choice. But Moonblast is going to fly here. Say, see you later. 
to lovely little Urshifu and Magmortar thriving out here in a support role in Mash and Wild. Absolutely thought we played that one super super well. I was scared of the Chiyu and the uh and the Raging Bolt combo, but we actually played that one so perfectly. But from here, I'm just gonna heat wave, I'm gonna moon blast, they're gonna proceed to cancel the match. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, our first win for today's video. What a solid first match. Us countering the meta squad with Walking Wake and Magmortar works so perfectly. We're hopping into our second match going up against an Arcanine team. Or I should say, it's to be an Arcanine team with Furgraph and Urshfu. They also got Fluttermane, they got Rillaboom, and last but not least, they got Storm Drain Gastron. So that is actually a Pokemon that I have to watch out for when using Walking Wake. But I feel like Whimscott is going to be very solid for us. We can set the sun. We don't have to go into a Tailwind, and I can also lead a Pokemon like Bag Mortar, which is going to be pretty good. But the thing is, they could pop a Trick Room with Fur Grip, and that's where things get a tad scarier, right? Definitely a tad bit scarier, because I can't really counter that. Can I counter that? I do have Taunt, but I can't use it, because I'm Prankster, and that thing is Fur Grip. So I'm still going to go Whimsicott here, and I might just lead Mag Mortar. Maybe pop the sun and just go for heat waves, acid sprays, stuff like that. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I don't even have to go into Wimscott, to be honest with you. I don't have to. I could just go Mag Mortar, which I like, alongside with like Fluttermane or even Walking Wake. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Fluttermane here. I'm going to go Mag Mortar. I'm going to bring Walking Wake. And last but not least, I'm going to bring Victory Bell. I like that. I like that a lot because I do think they leave for I do believe they they are gonna leave for a graph so at this point instead of wasting a Pokemon slot with Wimscott just to set sunny day I have Mag Mortar to set sunny day so if they're gonna pop trick room I can pop sunny day I can get photosynthesis boost and I can really just start getting after if I want to let's see what they go with them. they go for a graph yeah no, okay. these two Pokemon are gonna come out here um again I don't mind it too much um I might have to go into more so a terrestrialization with Mag Mortar into grass, which isn't too bad. I do have Flame Body, but um, yeah, we're just gonna terrestrialize and we're just gonna pop the Sunny Day. Cause I think the Rock Boots are gonna come out here, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. And on top of that, I'm just gonna rip a Dazzling Gleam. I mean, I am Choice. I gotta remember this. I am gonna be Choice. Or I could just rip a Shadow Ball, but Dazzling Gleam probably my best bet. Just chunking up damage, especially with Pro Synthesis Boost, all that. So yeah, I mean, what's gonna happen? Rock Slide, right? Chances are it's going to be Rock Slide into a, into a Trick Room. This one could definitely be tough for us. It could be tough. But yeah, they this, this Trick Room kind of counters this hard, right? If I should have led like Walking Wake or something, just trying to double down for a graph. But he ends up actually Helping Hand in here. So Helping Hand Rock Slide might come out here, which I don't mind. I don't mind. Dazzling Gleam is going to cook. It's going to chunk up some nice damage onto Frigograph. Rock Slide is coming out here, and Fluttermane ooh, almost dies out here. Luckily, we can't be hit by E-Speed. So, nice little Terra on our part, keeping our Mag Mortar alive. And then we have Citrus Spray to grant us a bit more HP. Sunny Day now comes out here. So, we're going to get this Proto Synthesis, which is huge. It is huge. Fluttermane is going to get that nice, lovely Speed Boost, even though it was already faster than everybody. And from here, I think we just rock a Heat Wave, or I could Acid Spray it down. But I think Heat Wave is going to be your best bet, because we kind of just want to deal with this Frigraph at this point. Yeah, I think I'm going to deal with this Furgraph first and foremost. So from here, Helping Hand is going to come out here from Furgraph again. And will Rock Slide actually KO my Mag Mortar? This could be tough if that happens. That's something gets cooking here. And this thing's going to eat up a Citrus Spray. I think it dies out to this Heat Wave. But are you going to be able to KO my, art, my Mag Mortar? I think you do. We survived Mag Mortar, my guy. My guy, all I, all I need you to do is not flinch and land this Heat Wave. And we're sitting in a decent spot. Oh, nice, Mag Mortar. I love it. I love it. You're not KOing the Frigraph, but still, I like the damage output there. I really do. So now, we have a little bit of speed ready to go. We have a little bit of speed. And I think going into Walking Wake is probably our best bet, right? Saving Victory Bell for the back end. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring out Walking Wake here. I can Hydro Steam. You could have E Speed. You most likely have E Speed. You most likely have E Speed, and that's where things get a little tough for me. So I want to go for Heat Wave, and I really want to take out Furigraph, but I really want to take out Arcanine. I think he's hitting hard. You could be Choice Band, Arcanine. You could be Choice Band. Hopefully, you're not going for Trick Room here. E Speed Trick Room would be a pain for me. 
it would definitely be a pain for me. You could swap into potentially Gastrodon. I should have maybe thought that out a little bit. And yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to withdraw a smart play for going to Gastrodon. That's such a smart play. Such a smart play. So this thing's going to be boosted too. I don't have a grass move on my once a card, which sucks. On my victory bell. Which would have been perfect for these guys. But he's just going to end up dropping Rock Slide and who's dodging? Walking Wake dodging. So Walking Wake takes no damage. Mike Mortar ends up getting dropped out. Okay, nothing crazy. At least they didn't pop trick. So now they got Gastron sitting here plus one on special attack. Plus one on special attack, but I got some fast Pokemon ready to go. I can put Pokemon to sleep, no problem. No problem. No problem. The victory bell here, we have we don't have no move. We have Encore. Um I gotta put somebody to sleep, right? Could do that and maybe just start Draco Meteor, but I don't want to lower my special attack. I gotta get rid of Gastron. Gastron has got to go. So to be honest, I'm actually just gonna sleep powder Arcanine here. And actually, let's just do this. Let's sleep powder you. And just flamethrower Arcanine. I don't want to lower my special attack right now. We need this walking weak and its special attack as high as possible. So maybe, just maybe we can actually pick up KO. And actually, he's gonna withdraw Arcanine. This isn't a bad turn for us, because Furgraph's going to come back out here. He might protect the Gastron, but I'm just going to finish off Furgraph here. He's going to Terrasilize Gastron. So as long as it's not Grass, there's no way you're Grass, right? As long as it's not Grass, you're going to sleep. It's Fire. I can deal with that. I can't hit it with any Hydro Steam, which kind of sucks, but still. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Flamethrower's going to... Go out here, we're gonna take out Frograph, and with the wide lens, we should have no problem on this sleep powder and putting up a fight in the second match here. Yep, nice level sleep powder. No Lumbe, right? <laughs> That'd be annoying. Lumberry's barely used in Scarlet and Violet rank. So it'd be crazy if this thing just started chomping on Lumberry. Cool, so Gastrodon's asleep. It's just such a massive problem. It really is. It probably has Terror Blast too. He's gonna bring back out Arcanine. So Arcanine comes out here. Might be a good time to actually double down into this thing. And just get rid of it. Now might be a perfect time to double down into it. Just to make sure it goes out here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna double down to Arcanine. Gastrodon, man. Oh my mmm. So annoying. So annoying. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this. I think our best bet would be to finish off every Pokemon on the left side and then just start Draco Me doing this thing. I think that's our best bet of uh, winning this match up here. Hopefully no protect comes out from Arcanine. I think he could be choice banned. I think you could be choice banned, considering you swapped there and you were just helping Hank doing massive damage with Rock Slides. Kind of leads me to think you were choice banned, so I think you're going to choice an E-Speed and look to get off some damage here before he dies out. Yes, that's exactly what you do. So they have helped my victory bell. William Thrower comes through here and doesn't pick up a lot of damage. I really want a bit more out of that because I don't think Sludge Bomb's KOing. It's not. Can we get a poison? Thank you. Thank you, Poke Gods. Poison should finish that off. Gastron wakes up. Of course it does. And he goes for a yawn. So he's going to yawn me. Probably just protect next turn. And suddenly it's going to fade. So we lose all of our speed boost and all that. But poison should KO the Arcanine, which would be massive if it does. Alright, so we yawn my victory bell. He has indeed yawned my victory bell. This is where things get a little crazy. Let's see who they bring out here. Fluttermane. So Fluttermane comes out here, and this is now it's just not looking good. This cash is just hard countering. Hard countering. Hard countering me. Um, I gotta put someone to sleep. And I think Gastron more so protects than anything. So I'm going to do that. And uh, man, we're just not doing enough damage here. I think we just got to start Draco Meteor now. At this point. He ends up just protecting Fun. I mean, smart call on his end. He's probably going to yawn my walking wake. Or you double protecting. No. The Draco Meteor comes out. Give me a crit or something. Love the damage. Love the damage output there. The Sleep Powder's going to get blocked. So Night Night to Victory Bell. Really hurts the soul. And Yawn's flying out from there. So yeah, he's just putting my Pokemon to sleep. But he can just 
pick up a KO here with probably just a Dazzling Gleam, which I think he should have done in the first place. Definitely should have done in the first place. That's what I would have done. I mean, you outspeed me. My Tailwind's gone. The Sun's gone. I got nothing. Actually, I should never even set up a Tailwind. But man, man, oh man. Um, hmm. From here, I guess we'll Sludge Bomb, look for KO, and then try to go for Hydro Steams in that slot. Because maybe by the time... Well, no, what can we stay here, right? Yeah, it's game over. So Victor Bell actually ate up the shot. I kind of wish they went for that first and foremost. Uh, I wish they would have went for Dazzle Gleam turn one. Actually, no, we would just die it out. But Victory Bell slum, and that is going to be the game. What a solid second match. They pop an ice cream. Victory Bell dead. So, one on one for today's video. Solid second match from our opponent. That Gastron just hard countered us. So, we're going to go hop into our third, look for a winning record. For our third and final match, we're going up against Sun Team and Sun Team. So, I got Sun Team. They got Sun Team. They got actually a really strong Sun combo with Torkoal and Hisuian Logan. So that's something I definitely got to watch out for in match number one. Don't really want to be going up against that. Eruption Torkoal, just a massive threat, something that we don't really like. So it could potentially lead a Pokemon like Iron Hands, right? Iron Hands, not bad. I could fake out and start getting effort that way. And that's something I kind of want to do because if they're going to set the sun, I'm just going to allow it, right? I'd rather just allow it. So I'm going to go into Walking Wake or Magmortar. Iron Hands and somebody. I'm thinking Mech Mortar and bringing Walking Wake in the back end. That's something I really like alongside <clears throat> with Fluttermane. Our only problem here would be if they don't lead the Sun. I mean, I could pop Sunny Day with Mech Mortar, but I just have a feeling they're going into either Trick Room with Indeedee to help out with that Ursulina or Logan and Torkoal. This is just going to be a this is just going to be a good good battle here, right? They have a very similar team to us. Walking Wake, Fluttermane. Two of our heavy hitters that they're probably gonna bring in here. I'm rocking out with mine. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But we are one and one. That dang slug in that last match just countered us so perfectly. So perfectly. Because Walking Wake was our big hitter. It was our big hitter. And that just totally took it out of the situation. Drake Meteor. Maybe I should have Drake Meteor earlier. But at that point, my special attack would have been so low. Wouldn't have been able to do that much. But they end up going into these two. I don't mind this. And I could just Terrasalize and start heavy slamming. Options, options, options. Grass Terror and the Heavy Slam. I like that a lot. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to pop Sunny Day. Or do I just Acid Spray? I think popping Sunny Day for the rest of the squad is going to be good. So I'm going to get out the Sun. I am going to get out the Sun. We'll see what they want to do. They could pop Trick Room. I'm going to Terrestrialize my Iron Hands here. Just to help it out with uh, any Psychic or Fairy moves coming into the slot. Just go from there. So, good thing they're not thrashalizing. They might be going for a follow me. That's definitely an option for them. But I do like this turn for us. I do like this turn. Magborder might just be used to pop the Sunny Day this turn. Or this game. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. So, Helping Hand comes out here. Oh, Helping Hand as a flame. We don't like. Unless you're going for a Moon Blast. We would like that a lot. How power Gem. Of course you got Power Gem. So, they just take out my son. Why are you ripping me with Power Gem? That's absurd. You know what, Now we're going to have to KO this thing. Unless you're Sash. You're not Sash. Okay, so we go KO for KO. I'll take that all day, but I really wish I was able to get off the sun. The Magmortar gets dropped here early on. Gets dropped. And now is probably a better time for me to bring out Fluttermane than ever, right? Save the Walking Wake? Yeah, I mean, there's no sun out. Maybe they have Torkoal, which would be awesome. Maybe they have Torkoal. I doubt it. Ursaluna might come out here. Yeah, it's going to be Ursaluna. So I get to bring out the Fluttermane. With the choice spec. So that's going to help us out here. And we might just want to start attacking this thing. I could go Drain Punch. But I think Wild Charge might be a bit better. And why does Wild Charge have... Oh, you're ground typing. I think our best bet might just be go to go after Indeedee here. Just to do as much damage as I can to this thing. Go Wild Charge into Indeedee. Yeah, because if Indeedee is gonna pop a Trick Room, Ursula might just protect. And there's protect. So we're gonna Dazzle Gleam up in here. We're gonna drop a Wild Charge. Um, I think it can soak these shots. I'm not even gonna lie. And if it does, it gets off Trick Room. That's that's a big problem for us. This is a big time problem for us. So Dazzle Gleam actually getting a crit and maybe just saving their lives. That's huge. That crit was huge. 
That crit was huge. We do take damage Rocky Helmet, but we allow no Trickum to come out here. Not a singular Trickum. That's huge. So let's see who the final Pokemon is, and I'm kind of hoping it's Torkoal a little bit, right? Because I want my son. It is Torkoal. I mean, actually, the sun doesn't do anything because it's just going to boost speed for my Pokemon. Torkoal's a little booger. We have to double down into it. I can't, I can't deal with a, with a, what's it called? I cannot deal with a, with an eruption coming out here. I cannot deal with that. So I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to go for a Drain Punch here. Um, Ursulina might terrestrialize into Ghost. That is definitely an option for them. And I think it is going to do that just so it can dodge Drain Punches. So that's why I want to attack the Torkoal more so than the Ursulina. It could actually be normal, Terra. You never know. I guess we'll find out this turn. If it doesn't terrestrialize this turn, or if it terrestrializes in a different type, we're just gonna attack it next turn. Because most of the time, Ursulinus are either ghost terror type or normal terror type. And in this case, it is a... Oh, Torkoal's terror. Torkoal's gonna tear it into straight fire. Straight fire, yeah, okay. Yeah, good thing we attacked that. Good thing we attacked that. I mean, Heatwave could still do some big time damage onto us. But Dazzling Gleam is murking with the crits. Oh my lord. Green Punch flying in here as well, and we get this Torkoal down to half. So hopefully it's going for Eruption rather than Heat Wave. Heat Wave will, will, will they'll pick up a double KO on me. Hyper Voice comes out here. I'm surviving. Heat Wave's flying, so yeah, that's a double KO. Yeah, maybe we should have went for the simple play and just attacked the Ursaluna, but I still have Walking Wake. I still have Walking Wake. Now, Walking Wake. Walking Wake here. Can clutch up, no problem. Hydro Steam KO is both Pokemon. Hydro Steam KO is both Pokemon. And I think our best bet would to be just to go after Ursaluna, right? Because Torkoal, how much damage are you really doing to Walking Wake with Heat Wave? I'm I'm Water and Dragon. Right? So yeah, I'd rather get rid of Ursaluna. But Ursaluna probably is has a higher chance of protecting here. So this is why it's a little weird. I like Walking Wake in this situation though. That's a great Pokemon. It counters the Torkoal really well. I mean, you could have Earth Power, but what's Earth Power doing? They end up protecting Ursaluna. I have to just go after Ursaluna here. Because how much damage is this thing really doing? Like Torkoal, what, 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 are, you, what are you doing here? Let's see, what, what you got? What you got for me? You got Solar Beam maybe? You got Earth Power. Like I said, I soak pretty well. And at this point, I just go Hydro Steam again. As long as you don't land Double Protect, you should be relatively fine. So I, I kind of know what moves you have. Probably have... Okay, they go for Double Protect, and we stop it. So yeah, that's why I said. If they, they land a Double Protect, it could be tough, but that's all RNG. I'm not dealing with that. So I pick up the KO with Walking Wake. As long as we soak up whatever he has to offer, it's game. It's game over. You're just not winning this battle. Earth Power comes out here again. Yeah, you're walking away. Perfect little counter. Perfect little counter. And we're going to finish off this match. Beautiful. Unless for some reason this is a hacked Torkoal and learns extreme speed. We're fine. We're fine here. So they end up just canceling the battle. Don't even take the chance here. And uh, we got 2 1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Mag Mortar on the rank regulation at Flatter. Love this Pokemon so much. Love its design. It actually worked out really, really well. We got to use it in the support role. We got to attack with it a little bit, and then every other Pokemon really thrived off it. We got to use Victory Bell in one match. Gaston really came in with the hard counter, but still, I would have rather have like a grass move on this Pokemon. But it is what it is. Whimsicott's really good setting up the sunny day, setting up the tailwind, and then Walking Wake's just a powerhouse in rank regulation. That phenomenal in the sun. Really rocked out with them in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.